what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Stock Colliday. Coming to y'all with another hot video. Have a nice little discussion going on about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and the new Bitcoin spot ETFs that were um, just approved yesterday. So uh, this information, uh, this currency is fresh. A lot of folks still trying to figure out as we navigate through day one of the approval of the spot Bitcoin ETFs by the SEC, Gary Gensler and the government. Um, today was the first day. Uh, a lot of folks woke up in anticipation to discover and see exactly how the day would run. Um, it started off good. Uh, the markets were up. Bitcoin was running up. Um, what did Bitcoin hit? Bitcoin ran up something nice today. Shoot, Bitcoin ran up to, let's say, the low at almost $49,000. That was pretty impressive. You know, a lot of folks were um, excited, happy. Um, you know, you thought Bitcoin was going to break $50,000. It didn't quite crack 49k but it did have a nice run up today you know which was positive i think a lot of folks was kind of unnerved uh, nervous a little uneasy didn't really know what direction that bitcoin was gonna go in after um you know on the first day of having the spot bitcoin etfs approved everything spiked up all the altcoins was running good um a lot of your favorite altcoins uh, were recovering from the recent dips and um, even some of the uh, mining uh, stocks over there uh, in the traditional stock market, those things were running up. Coinbase was running up. Um, and then all of a sudden, it started to dip a little bit at a time. Folks started getting nervous. It started to dip a little more. And then, you know... Um, it creeped all the way back down to pretty much where it was yesterday. So, had a lot of um, sideways momentum over the past few hours. Um, what do you say? Do I have a bag of Myro? No, I don't have a bag of Myro yet, but I have been hearing a lot of folks over there in the Patreon and the Discord discuss that coin. So, that is one of the ones that I'm going to look into and... Um, Check that out. Uh oh, said audio is kind of static. All right, let's try this. Is that better? Is the audio better? Let me know. Microphone check one or two. Yeah, but like I say, um, my role. Ah, there we go. Much better. Appreciate that. Uh, my role is one of the coins that I'm going to look into. I've been hearing a lot of people um, ask about that coin. So I'm going to check that out, do a deep dive into that. Because like I say, we are in a bull market. This is um, like a once in a lifetime opportunity that we have amongst us. You see how hard these large institutions were jockeying to get into this space they are doing the best that they can for their investors for those guys to increase their portfolio they're doing the best that they can to make massive gains for their clients and that's our job that's our job to do the same for us we don't have large institutions backing us all we have is ourselves that's why i say we over there in the patreon we over there in the discord we're going to hold each other hands. You guys continue to watch these videos, and we're going to navigate together. You know, y'all drop me some gems. I drop the information I got. You know, we're going to make it together. But like I say, we are in a bull market. So, you know, that have already been declared, identified, and confirmed. So, knowing that you're in a bull market, the main thing that you need to be doing is accumulating. When these big dips come, we are buying the dips. And then we wait till these things run up. And, you know, that's how we're going to go along this journey in 2024. 
that's how we gonna go along this journey in 2025 now a lot of folks um, was wondering okay what's gonna happen after the spot Bitcoin ETFs get approved everybody was expecting um, fireworks today everybody was expecting you know fireworks immediately after the approval but you got to understand you know um, a lot of the volume um, was given to us uh, the past few weeks in anticipation of the approval are you focusing a lot on AI crypto projects buying the dips Ooh, that's a good question I'm gonna touch on that one but like I say you know um, the you know we got a lot of the volume from the anticipation weeks before the spot coin uh, the spot Bitcoin ETS was approved they gave us the date they gave us the deadline was January 10th and I think a lot of people and of course um, the financial institutions they kind of knew that that date was going to be January 10th so I think that um, influx of that catalyst I think the numbers and everything was already uh, factored in uh, to the price of Bitcoin but you know we did have a nice little pump the past few days but you know nevertheless this is a positive catalyst like I say this is the first step to get cryptocurrency at the mass adoption stage that's what we want you know once this stuff gets a mass adoption stage once countries um, start to implement cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and once the United States because we know the United States is the leader of the world for the most part the strongest military the strongest dollar and a lot of countries follow what the United States do and a lot of times the United States just bully other countries and say this is what you're going to do <laughs> if you want our protection if you want our dollar backing um, we need you to do this so you know we understand the United States have a lot of power so this is a big accomplishment for the SEC to approve this new spot Bitcoin um, ETF so we're gonna take that as the first stepping stone to us getting to mass adoption um, I'm, I'm not sure about you guys but yesterday and today my phone was ringing a lot of folks were saying how do I get in crypto tell me more about Bitcoin the same folks that I've been trying to talk to over the past two or three years now they are calling me saying I heard this I heard that I've been hearing about Bitcoin how do I get in I think I'm ready so um, I just send them my link you know still be kind still be patient with them because you know we um, want to bring on as many people as possible you know we want to expose as many people as we can to this uh, crypto ecosystem so send them your link you know hold you know hold their hand tell them what information you know and you know let them jump in because this is uh, a time where a lot of folks will be becoming financially free and will be uh, coming millionaires so right now Bitcoin forty six thousand dollars that is a nice level to be at at the beginning of January 2024 we know uh, we got through the first part spot bitcoins ETFs were approved on January 10th boom check off we're gonna check that off our list next on our list is this Bitcoin having this is the hugest largest catalyst in the cryptocurrency market it happens every four years the four-year cycle of Bitcoin is the most important thing for you to master understand and for you to dominate and we are at a pivotal point in the four-year cycle right now we are not quite at the bottom we know the bottom was uh, 15,000 what was that November 2022 a lot of folks bought in there even if you bought in at 25k that's okay but like I say today we at $46,000 one day fresh off the approval of the 11 spot Bitcoin ETFs now the next catalyst that we are um, up against is the Bitcoin having now just like we had a nice upward push from the anticipation of the spot Bitcoin ETFs I'm expecting maybe next month um, February March that we're gonna have a nice influx from the anticipation of 
the Bitcoin happen, just like we had an influx of cash, an upward push from the momentum and anticipation from the spot Bitcoin ETF. So, you know, that's the next um, bullet point or date or catalyst that we have on our agenda, have on our bulletin board. Looking forward to is the Bitcoin having. Uh, we know the previous all-time high in 2021 November was about $69,000. So a lot of folks are wondering how close will we get to the all-time high before the new Bitcoin having. That is a crucial, critical point. The way things have been running over the past few days, Bitcoin uh, is looking real strong. You know, but we know the previous cycles, there was always like a huge dip just before the Bitcoin happened. So we don't know what is around the corner. All we can do and go off of is the history. Like I say, we're going to have to we understand the 40 year cycle, you know, and normally these things re have been repeating itself like clockwork. Um, just before the Bitcoin happened. We normally have a little bit of a dip, so we may have a dip next week. We may have a dip tomorrow. You know, like they've been saying, okay, this is this spot Bitcoin ETF. Is it another buy the rumor, sell the news event? We don't know. You know, like I say, nobody got this stuff all mapped out, you know, but we are doing our best and doing our most due diligence to figure this stuff out, running the charts from the past few cycles, doing full analysis so we can know how to navigate going forward so if we do see a dip the most important thing to understand is do not panic be patient because we know and understand that we are at or near the bottom of the bull market and in the bull market the most important thing for you to do hold your coins and if you do see a flash crash if you do see a dip, keep some dry powder on the side so you can take advantage of those dips, so you can take advantage of those sales, redeem those coupon, and buy your favorite altcoins at a low discounted price. We may pull back in Bitcoin to $32,000, $38,000. Hmm. Wow. Well, you know, that's possible. You know, I know... Um, in a few of the other cycles, we've had 30, um, 40 percent dips uh, just before the blow off top of the um, of the um, bull market, just before things started to go parabolic. So what are we at now? Forty six thousand um, dollars. Shoot, let me put out my calculator. Forty six times points. What are we at? Ooh, yeah, shoot. If we took um, a 40% dip or something like that, man, we will be in the low uh, 30s, <laughs> low 30Ks. And, you know, a lot of times what that do, when Bitcoin do have flash crash, have those flash crashes, and when they do dip, that do get a lot of weak hands to start selling. That's where the term HODL came from. A lot of folks were saying, man, don't sell. Understand what part of the cycle you're in. Hold. Hold on for dear life, man. Because this is a pivotal point in your dear life. If you hold and trust the process, but first you got to understand the process. you got to understand what part of the cycle that you are in. So if you hold on for dear life, because this is a life-changing moment if you play it right you'll be successful you'll get that status of being financially free and you will probably become a millionaire if you play it right you know you'll be one of the ones on those videos saying okay I'm a crypto millionaire you know it's very possible I know a lot of the folks over there in the patreon you know they you know got you know 30 40 50 thousand dollars in their portfolio right now so if they do a 20x, you know, that's millionaire status. You know, that's life-changing money. You know, which is beautiful. You know, I don't know any other um, place or market that you can um, take 50K and then 
a year and a half, two years, become a millionaire. Even in real estate, you know, if I was to go and buy a fix up her home for fifty thousand uh, dollars, renovate it, sell it, might sell it for a hundred thousand, might sell it for a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> you know, I might get a two x, something like that. But a twenty x, man, that day. Why do you think all those large institutions was in line, camping out in front of the SEC building? for years waiting in line so they can participate and become part of this cryptocurrency Bitcoin monster they know this thing is digital gold they know the currency is getting ready to navigate um, to where digital currency is going to be taken over so they just want to be uh, one of the first in line and do not want to miss out you know a lot of those guys have been talking bad about cryptocurrency for years and now lo and behold when you walk in the SEC building and you look at that line, you're seeing those same jokers who have been talking bad about us and folks in this cryptocurrency ecosystem. So it is what it is. You know, they were able to have a change of heart. No biggie. But, you know, we just want to get in right now before a lot of the government, the large institutions, before they start ch trying to change the game start trying to switch things up and once they switch things up they're going to make it harder for the average joe they're going to make it harder for you and me to uh, attain wealth it's not going to be as easy as it is now it's not going to be as easy as it was in the previous cycles where you can put your money in and you can 50x you can 100x you got coins that's doing a thousand x you know what do you say? I bought the Grayscale Spot Bitcoin ETF. It was about 40 bucks a pop. Interesting. Yeah, I have um, been seeing a lot of those up here. Um, the different Grayscale uh, BTFs and so forth. Hey, what's going on, young lady? Big Trees Donald. Roland Curtis, what's going on, brother? Nick, I see you, man. Yeah, but, um, you know, this is, um, you know, yesterday was a great day, you know. Uh, we all celebrate it, you know, if you drink, pop a bottle of champagne, pop a bottle of apple cider, because, you know, that was a victorious and historical moment for us who've been in this cryptocurrency market. You know, we've been through um, the bear market. We've been through crypto winter in 2022, you know, and having to struggle and not understand what was going on. but. We stayed 10 toes down because we understood the cycle. You know, we had already um, done been through one cycle before. And some folks haven't. This is their first cycle, so they're learning along the way. You know, so we're going to hold their hands. We're going to be patient. What's going on, man? Who is that? Journey? Journey? What's going on, brother? I see you. Um, you know, so that's how we're going to navigate this thing. You know, we all just trying to make it to that next level. But like I said, we're still early, January 2024, and we are in such a great position. The best thing you can do when these markets are high like they are now, just sit back and wait. And we're going to watch how these, um, you know, we're going to watch how the market uh, move. You know, right now it's um, going down a little bit as well. It's 46,000, now we 45,900. 94 but like I say at any minute this cryptocurrency is so volatile this Bitcoin is such a beast it could spike up to about forty eight thousand dollars before I get off of this live so you know don't blink you know when you right now when it's board market I remember last board market I didn't get too much sleep at all I used to sleep with one eye open in the middle of the night when I wake up and turn over guess what I used to do I used to grab my phone, look at my account, and see how the heck Bitcoin was running. Sometimes I'll grab my phone, click it, and I'll be up ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. And some nights I'll be ticked off because my account will be down about $20,000. Bananas. But those are the kind of spikes that you will experience in a bull market. And those are the kind of spikes that you also experience in a bear market. And like you say, when you know better, you do better. We understand where we are. We understand the cycles. 
we went through the bear market in 2022. We saw all of our favorite altcoins get wrecked and get beat down to a minimum. But what did we do? We kept on dollar cost averaging in. We kept on trusting the process. We kept on buying the dip. And now here we are. I was in one coin, man, that I bought called Pendle, P-E-N-D-L-E. -E. This is my most profitable coin. Bought that coin at four cent. And Pendle today is probably about, what Pendle at? About a dollar, where's Pendle at? Dollar 20, something like that? Let's see what the heck Pendle is. Hey, amazing. A dollar 78. Wow. Pendle was a dollar 78. I bought that coin at four cent. That's why I say, hey, where you get rich at and where you gain your financial wealth and start getting head into the journey for financial freedom is in the bear market. You got to trust the process. Yeah, it hurt buying them coins dirt cheap, bare minimum at the bottom like that. But if you trust the process, you're going to understand that there's going to be a brighter day. There's going to be great rewards on the other side of that crypto winter and that's where we are now you know we made it over the mountain the sun is starting to rise up the coldness is starting to come down and these those things are starting to pan out for the better you know so i'm looking forward to um what is um coming this year in 2024 you know we know um the interest rate we expect an interest rates to um be lowered a little bit and that's a positive catalyst for the entire market um so that we expecting that after the bitcoin happened um why do we don't know when that dip is going to come and like i say this cycle seems to be different from the previous cycles on a certain level so will we have a large dip this cycle i hope not you know, I hope this cycle is easier and smoother than the other cycles because it's never easy and fun when you see your account taking dips 20%. You know, um, but, you know, that, that's part of the process. It is what it is, but I would prefer not to have those drastic uh, dips like that. You know, but, you know, we're going to ride it out. You know, it is what it is at this point. Because we understand that 69,000 was the previous all time high, and we will surpass the previous all time high. What will the new all time high be? That's the largest, or that's one of the most, um, that's the biggest question that I've been getting from a lot of people. Where do you think the new all time high will be? The previous all-time high was $69,000. Where would the new new all-time high hit? Will it hit $85,000, $90,000? Nick, what he say? Yeah, for sure. But make the red days. The days, but try not to let them. Okay. I got to figure out how to read these um, comments before they disappear. But like I say, um, it's interesting to um, figure out where the all-time highs, um, new all-time highs will be. You know, there's so many different um, things that will come into play that will, it's going to be Bitcoin. Bit, bit. There's so many things that come into play that will um, help us to understand uh, what part of the cycle that we're in, um, how much this particular catalyst will increase um bitcoin uh we don't know if there's going to be um any type of wars breaking out you know um you know there's a lot of um geopolitical things that can cause the uh, market to go up or down you know so you know uh we don't know what's um uh, what to expect you know as far as that but you know we know that we are on the right side even during COVID, you know crypto took a little dip and what did it do? It bounced back like a jackrabbit and stayed in its lane, stayed in, the, stayed in its position, doing what it is planned and scheduled to do. That Satoshi dude, when he created Bitcoin, that was a mastermind. And he created them things to be 
the Bitcoin happened, the four year cycle, and every four years the production get cut in half. Oh man, the U.S. attack Yemen. Yeah, it's been a lot going on over there. So, you know, we just uh, pray for those uh, individuals over there, and you know, hope that hope those things can uh, get better. Hopefully, we can uh, instill a little bit of peace uh, over there. But you know, those wars have been um, kind of going on for a while. So, you know, we just gotta, you know, hope for the best, pray for the best, and you know, that's you know, it's a cold thing over there. But, you know, they, all those type of geopolitical events, those things affect the market. And that was pretty interesting today, how the market, um, when we woke up, you know, the market was running. Like I said, Bitcoin almost hit $49,000 today. Um, even some of the mining coins like um, Mara and the Riot, those things were running up. Coinbase was running up. Then... Um, all of a sudden, you know, they started to dip. So, you know, we don't know if that was, um, you know, planned like that. Um, you know, for them to, you know, kind of trick us. Uh, you know, a lot of times it's market manipulation. But, you know, we do know the CPI data um, was released today. And um, the Consumer Price Index. So, a lot of times those things play into uh, the market also. You know, we even saw the Dow Jones and the S&P um, react instantly when the CPI data was released. And the cryptocurrency market um, reacted to it also. And that's a pretty interesting thing that I've been noticing um, this cycle. Uh, last cycle was similar to that too, that um, the stock market and the crypto market have been kind of um, following each other, you know, Seem like the previous cycles uh, don't seem like uh, that they were kind of closely correlated like that. But, you know, I definitely know this cycle that the stock market and uh, crypto has been closely correlated. When one run up, the other one run up. So that's pretty interesting. But, you know, you look at the S&P, look at the Dow Jones. Those guys, are uh, those numbers are all-time highs, too. Bitcoin, 46,132 right now. Um, see, we're starting to crank up just a little bit, which is always good after trading sideways for the past few hours. So we're going to see where um, that takes us. Uh, total market cap, $1.76 trillion, which is huge. You know, last time, all-time high, I think we hit uh, near $3 trillion for the entire um cryptocurrency space fear and greed index 73 bitcoin dominance is 51.2 percent last week when i checked bit bitcoin dominance was 51.9 percent which is interesting normally when the bitcoin dominance starts to lower that's when uh that's the closer we get to altcoin season um we see ethereum had a nice little push um yesterday past few days what we at now okay seven days the past week uh ethereum's up let me say 15 percent okay that's pretty interesting so we're gonna see um you know normally they say uh you know bitcoin run up first then Ethereum um, starts to get its leg up. Then after that, you got the large altcoins like Solana, XRP, Cardano, so forth. They start to run up. And then after that, that's when you have your full-fledged altcoin season. When you start seeing exponential gains, you start seeing coins go parabolic. You start seeing coins run up 110% in one day, you know. That's why um, I got a lot of small cap coins that I'm in that I'm hoping that they um, catch flame and catch fire come altcoin season because the market caps are so low. You know, I got coins that if they hit a $1 billion market cap, you know, that's like 100x or 1,000x, something like that. So, you know, you got to have your uh, portfolio diverse. You know, I got a couple of risky coins, a couple of small cap coins that are risky. And I got my um, 
large cap coins, my blue chip coins that are um, more on the safer side. You know, they might not multiply by 30x, 50x, might not even multiply by 20x, but I know uh, minimum I'm looking at 5x, 6x, you know, and normally typically 10x, you know, which is good. You know, I'm still holding my portfolio from the last cycle. I never took no money out, you know. It dipped down real low, and you know, it's um, pretty nice seeing that account start to recover. You know, I uh, should have pulled money out at the all time high when it was 69,000. I love to see you do a video on your crypto story. Ooh, wait. Yeah, <laughs> that's a cold story there, man. You know what? That's a great idea, man. That's a great idea. I'll talk about the young man who introduced me to um, cryptocurrency and tell y'all about his story and how my story attached to his wow hey we're talking about a cold story you know because we got in when um everybody um just before everybody was talking about ripple we got in i remember litecoin at four hundred dollars and ripple three oh man Whew, it's been a journey you know it's been a heck of a journey you know a lot of sleepless nights you know, having to work overtime, having to sacrifice, but, you know, when you believe in something, when you got conviction in it, you know, you're going to ride it out. Like the boy 50 Cent said, we're going to get rich or not trying this time, you know, but, you know, I think we are on the right track. We're on the right pace. Um, you know, that Bitcoin having is going to be huge, even more so this time because you got to spot Bitcoin ETFs and all these large institutions that are going to be buying up the supply of Bitcoin. They're going to be sucking up the supply. So, the doggone crypto miners, they're going to be mining. They're not going to be able to mine fast enough for the demand that is going to be before them. You know, a lot of these guys, these customers, um, their investors are going to um, be wanting to get exposure. They're going to want to get exposure in Bitcoin. So, um, like I said, the demand is going to be different than the previous cycles. Yeah, you got your regular uh, retail individuals like me and you who've been buying Bitcoin, buying crypto, but now you've got these large institutions. These guys are bringing in bags. They're bringing in billions, trillions of dollars. The, the, those miners are not going to be able to mine Bitcoin fast enough. That's why they say, hey, supply and demand, that's economics one-on-one. -on -one. Supply is going to be reduced, and the demand is going to be increased. You know, what is it, 21, uh, it's only 21 billion bitcoins uh, available. And they say a few thousand of those bitcoins um, have been lost, um, you know, from... You know, people making um, false tra or um, negligent transactions or sending them to the wrong wallets and so forth. That's interesting, man. You know, 21 uh, million. Come on now. You can find 21 million um, millionaires on the Internet right now. I could type in um, millionaires on the Internet. And we, shoot, man, we could type up 21 million um, uh, millionaires. So to get. Ooh, he said he lost 0.7. That's in, so you've been in it since 2014. Wow, that is interesting. So hopefully, uh, even though you lost 0.7 Bitcoin, that you were still able to hold on and keep several other Bitcoins. I got a buddy of mine. He um, he been in Bitcoin for years, maybe um, something like that. Um, 20s. 2014 2015 he said they used to use bitcoins to play poker online they used to use bitcoin coin to gamble and play poker online he said man he had he had boatloads of bitcoin you know because they used to use that stuff to gamble with just like the um the fellow who bought the pizza with the bitcoin several bitcoins just like the uh young lady who you know, people was buying T-shirts with Bitcoin. Okay, let me let me give you um, 25 Bitcoins for a T-shirt. 
Whew, you talking about sick? <laughs> Man, but like I say, my buddies say they used to gamble back and forth with the Bitcoins playing poker online. He said he had a lot of Bitcoin. I don't know what a lot mean, but he said he had a lot of Bitcoins. But he said, luckily, he was able to save eight Bitcoins. So right now, he's still been holding those eight Bitcoins every uh, few months, you know, when the market... Um, does something like this, you know, have a historical moment like the spot Bitcoin ETFs, he'd call me or I'd call him and, you know, say what's going on, how you doing, you know, you still holding, but he have been holding, I um, think he's like everybody else, you know, he understands the cycle, so I think this next cycle, a lot of folks are going to be uh, ready to pull out, my sister threw a PC of mine away, but I mind that big TC on the digital, oh, wow, 2013. Ooh, man, the stories that people have that have lost um, Bitcoins uh, is amazing. And then to under oh, landfill. And then to understand the value of what Bitcoin is at now. What the heck, Bitcoin is at? Was it forty six? Oh, forty six to forty six thousand dollars. That's a lot, you know. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. One Bitcoin, 50K. So to have access to a lot of Bitcoins, that is saying a lot, man. You know, but, you know, you live and you learn. You know, you can't go back uh, in time. All you can do is move forward and move forward in the right manner. You know, yeah, it hurt thinking about um, the losses. It hurt thinking about, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, we're going to make better and do better going forward. I remember back then watching stuff about it and hearing everyone say how it's the future. It was like 70 bucks at the time. Dang. Well, like they've been saying, you know, this is... um. You know, this is um, kind of like the beginning of the Internet. You know, like the beginning of, um, I remember when emails first started out. And a lot of folks were saying, uh, email me your information. I was like, man, I don't do email. <laughs> I'm not about to email you nothing. I don't even have an email account. What's your address so I can put a stamp on this thing and mail it to you? Or what's your fax number? I can fax it to you, but I'm not about to email you anything because I don't even have an email account lo and behold eventually it came a day to where everybody was forced to operate via email and the same as the internet you know a lot of folks when you were applying for jobs you used to walk into the facility and say can I get an application for this job they hand you a paper application you can sit right there in the lobby Fill out the application, turn it into human resources, boom, you applied for the job. Man, it came a point to where you went into those offices and they would give you their email address or their website and say, go to my website and get the application from my website? <laughs> Be like, ma'am, sir, can I just get the application and fill it out? And sit right here and apply for the job. Fill out this application. They weren't having it. You were forced to go on the internet. You were forced to go on AOL. Dial up. Unplug your telephone from the wall. Plug your computer in the wall. Type the dial in. <laughs> and hopefully you made it. I'm talking about. But. Those were the beginning stages of the internet, you know, and, um, you know, a lot of folks was um, hesitant. A lot of folks pushed back. I was one of them folks that pushed back. You know, I'm not one of the ones that like change like that, you know, so I was like, why we can't continue to do it the way we've been doing it? It's been working, but, you know, technology, advancement, and so forth, you know, it's, it's, it's bigger, it's greater. So when they, um, when you got have those new, um, what they call that um, layer one those were um you know that was um that was what they call that that was that was the first um one of the first um technical evolutions 
then you had the second um, evolution was the social media platforms you had Facebook it was one of the first ones with actually uh, remember MySpace you know but a lot of the kids was on MySpace that's how they used to communicate that's how they used to socialize and that was the beginning of when folks and especially kids stopped going outside and they would just stay in the house and be on that computer playing them games and socializing on MySpace goofing around having fun listening to music you know what do you say look at any 10 year old play Roblox they already in them you ain't lying that metaverse <laughs> That metaverse is a real thing, you know, but, you know, that's 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 where we have evolved to, you know, folks, um, social media. A lot of folks don't really go outside and socialize the way um, folks would traditionally socialize years ago. Folks, um, a lot of folks don't even like talking on the doggone telephone. They'd rather text you. So, you know, we are at... Um, we're at a different stage in this world uh, with socializing. We're at a different stage in this world with currency, cryptocurrency. A lot of folks don't understand that that fiat currency is uh, going to be a thing of the past. It's going to be like that old telephone we used to have hanging on the wall. You know, we used to have that rotary. We used to, you know, put your finger in there and you spin it. Z -z 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 <laughs> You know, now, you know, you got, um, you can press a button, you can speak into the phone, tell the phone to call um, Auntie uh, Mary Bell, call Uncle Joe, call Stock Holiday, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a whole different beast that we're dealing with right now, so, and that's the same transformation and adoption that we are heading in with this cryptocurrency. You see a lot of, what do you say, my woman takes my cause I'm retired but I remember party lines <laughs> party lines that's it's funny man you ain't lying boy hey but that was all part of that uh, new way of socializing where you could get on the phone and party you know but like I said we are early in this cryptocurrency market you guys should be excited that you are part of this cryptocurrency you know you guys are locked in you guys are ready you know the past few days i've been um talking to folks and they've been asking me man you seen that um shannon shark um cat williams or you seen um uh bill belichick new england patriots get fired or whoop, whoop, whoop. i'm like man i don't really pay attention to too much of that stuff you know but that's what they are invested in they are invested in this um, in this news. Um, you know, they're watching all these wild TV shows. You know, which is cool. Everybody needs a little bit of entertainment, but a lot of folks seem to be so captured in that stuff. They uh, they call it binge watching. I can't sit there and watch no six hours of no one show to where I am not being. Um, mentally stimulated I'm not being educated on anything nah I can't do that you know I watch a show here and there but other than that you know I'm about to be um, doing some research about um, some real estate doing some research about finance you know something to where I can help myself reach to whatever goals I have on my bulletin board you know so you know everybody's different but you know, it really um, perplexes me just seeing everybody. Oh, Cat Williams, Shannon Sharp, um, the NFL playoff. You know, I watch a game here and there, but, you know, years ago, I used to be an NFL lover. You know, I used to watch the NFL faithfully. But like I said, when you know better, you do better. And now that I know, you know, watching them games, learning all them statistics about Joe Montana, Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, you know, learning all these statistics and learning everything about them, that's not benefiting me and my family. If I needed something, 
if I need a bill paid or needed some help here and there, I can't call um, the San Francisco 49ers. I can't call the New England Patriots, Tom Brady, and say, what's going on, bro? I watch your games all the time. I know all about your stats. Can I get a little uh, help here or there? I can't call LeBron. I can't call the King. I can't call uh, Jay-Z, Taylor Swift. You know, we can't do that. So don't entrench yourself in those type of things. You know, because, you know, we are putting a lot of time in that stuff. Do some research on these cryptocurrency coins. Learn about these four-year cycles because that is very important. All-time high in 2021 was $69,000. Today, we are sitting at forty-six thousand dollars um typically they say that um you want you know the all-time high normally comes about 12 to 18 months after the bitcoin having so if the bitcoin having is in april 2024 so we talking at least to april 2025 we should be in smooth selling. But like I said, there's always things along the way. Nobody saw COVID-19 coming and disrupting and shutting down the country, shutting down the world. You know, nobody saw that. But they call it black swan events. You know, nobody saw that. But, you know, normally, you know, it's always something crazy, wild or goofy that happened that just, uh, dang, I want my light. That just throw everything off. So, you know, we don't know what to expect. And we don't know if there will be another black swan event um, coming along. You know, so all we can do is just continue to trust the process. We know we are at or near the bottom, um, just above the bottom of the bull market. We had a perfect time right now. You know, a uh, young lady called me today and she was like, um... I'm, I think I'm ready to get in Bitcoin now. I'm like, all right, sent her the link to one of, uh, to a couple of my accounts. Oh, I can't get in Coinbase because they asking for so much information. Boom, yeah, get into the uh, crypto.com. So, but like I said, you know, it's going to be a lot of folks that's hearing about the spot Bitcoin ETF hype. They're going to get in uh, today. They're going to get in tomorrow while Bitcoin is $46,000. Some folks got in when Bitcoin was um, earlier today, when Bitcoin was 48000 So they already in the red. They might panic a little bit, especially if they knew. You know, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the new folks that enter into the uh, space, they just think and assume that it's easy money, that it's easy, that I could get in, put some money in, I put five thousand dollars in. I'm gonna pull fifty thousand out. It don't work like that. It's a process. You know what's that song? Joy and pain. You know some days you're gonna have some joy, and some days you're gonna have some pain. You know, cause last week when those things was dipping, one of my accounts, man, was down fifteen thousand dollars. But when I turn around, look at it yesterday, look at it today. <laughs> you know that's joy but you know that's part of the process you know you're gonna have your ups and downs I would never um, like my daughter I would never tell my daughter that you know my that I my account I lost fifteen thousand dollars in one day dad you could help get me a car you could help you know but she don't understand the process you know, I've been trying to tell her you know about cryptocurrency Bitcoin but you know it is what it is. You know, um, my son, he he uh, he with it. You know, he been um, buying bunk. You know, he made a lot of money. We got in bunk real early. That was one. That was one of his first coins. He um, I think he put in eight hundred bucks from his um, that he had been saving from his check. He ran it up to like uh, thirty two hundred dollars. You know, he telling his sister about it now. She like, Dad, I, I think I'm ready to get. <laughs> I think I'm ready to get it in now. Man, but uh, you know, this cryptocurrency is a beast. You know, it could change your life if you learn how to navigate. You know, it's like it's like a vehicle. 
you can't just get in the car and you ain't never drove before and you ain't never been in the passenger seat and watch somebody drive that car you know it's a process you got to learn about the four-year cycle you got to learn about Bitcoin the Bitcoin dominance the fear and greed index you got to learn about the previous cycles and what happened in the previous cycles it's a process you got to understand what a stop sign mean you got to understand when you get at the intersection and the light is yellow what that mean you can't just get in no car and think you're going to uh, know how to navigate properly without getting wrecked nah you got to know where the seat belts are you got to know how to put the seat belts on you got to know how to move the seat up a little bit so you can get comfortable you got to know how to put gas in that joint <laughs> hey it ain't easy you know TP is on chapter what the name is bro TP is it's on chapter yeah so you know but um I'm pretty um I'm pretty comfortable the position that we're at right now what do you guys think the new all time taking profits is it's on chapter oof Boy, you set a mouthful. <laughs> Taking profits. Wow. I'm going to write that one down. Take Hey, taking profits, that's what it's all about. Taking profits. Important. So important. One of the most important things when you're navigating through this cryptocurrency market to learn is how and when to take profits you know a lot of folks um like i said i got a couple of accounts one of the accounts i got i just buy low and i don't sell that's my hodl account that account i hold on for dear life if it go down 20 percent i'm holding on for dear life if it go up 120 percent your boy still holding on because I know at the end of the journey, end of the cycle, when, uh, which is when uh, Bitcoin is near its all-time high, all those coins are going to be larger than what they are right now. So it don't matter how much it dip right now. That's my one account. Then my other account, give me a little something to do. I like to trade a little bit. So if I see something, now, if I see something run up 50%, 60% right now, I'll take profit. I'll wait till it pull back. Then I will get another position into that play when it dip. But in the previous cycle, when you get in that bull cycle, when things are going parabolic, something go 50%, 60%, and you take profit, man, that thing could run up 120%. You'd be kicking yourself. You'd be like, man, why did I get out? But if you don't know, if this is your first cycle, but like I say, it ain't never a bad thing to take profit. That's always a good thing. And typically, when something run up 30, 40, 60 percent, it's going to have a pullback. Within the next few days, it's going to pull back. Like the coin I was in, Pendle, bought, got in at four cent, ran that joint up uh, 64, uh, 64 cent. You know, I'm like, oh, do I take profits right now? But, you know, I'm, you know, we still early in the bull market. So I just let it sit, let it sit. Well, I think it when it went up to like 80 cents, something like that, I did take a little bit uh, of profits. I left half in there, but I shouldn't even touched it. Like I say, Pendle, what is that, one, a dollar seventy-eight? Cold play, but you just never know. Uh, what is a dollar seventy-eight? That's, that's a 45x and we are not even uh, in alt season and that coin did a 45x man cold cryptocurrency change your life in 24 months two years have you been a whole new person folks looking around like man he saw this acted different <laughs> You're absolutely right. Pockets bigger. Bank account set. 
debt paid off, happy wife, happy life, kids good, health good, all that stuff. Oh, you say my ships got ships. Man. Hey, Shiba Inu was a beast last cycle. Dogecoin was a beast last cycle. Will Bunk be the new Dogecoin? Will Bunk be the new Shiba Inu? What about your boy Elon Musk? Will he come out this Bitcoin cycle? What call are you most proud of this year? Will your boy Elon Musk come out this cycle and say something? Will he try to stir up Dogecoin again? He said he was the Doge father. He got on Saturday Night Live and poo pooed on it though. You know, so that's um, another interesting thing that a lot of folks are wondering what the heck is um, going on. What will Elon Musk do? Does he still have the power to move the needle? Do he still have the power to move cryptocurrency with one tweet, which was bananas? Man, A I O Z. A I O Z was a hell of a run, man. We found that joint at one penny. We made a lot of money off A I O Z network. I owe you a drink. <laughs> Ooh, man, we did our thing with A I O Z network, boy. Hey, but that's how it is, you know, you'll find gems here and there, you know, that's why I tell you, hey, don't chase no play, you know, because there's always another play to jump on, if I call the play, and you didn't get it in in time, keep it on your radar, wait for the dip, then jump on it, but trust and believe there's going to always be another play that's going to run up, but like I said, we're at the beginning of the 2024 we are making our way up through the end of the cycle. We got about another year, you know, and fast as um, time goes by these days, you know, a year will go by like that. Before you know it, we'd be talking about Happy New Year's again. So, you know, make sure you play your, um, make sure you play your portfolio as well. Dollar cost average in when necessary. Set your money to the side. You know, keep that dry powder to the side. So if we do have a flash crash, guess what you'll be prepared to do? You'll be prepared to dominate and buy low. So you can make exponential gains on the run-up. That's all we're doing. we buying these coins low. So we can sell them at a higher amount months down the way. Hey, T hey tell her. Boy, TRB was another monster. I forgot about that one. <laughs> hey, I couldn't believe when Teller did that. Um, did that uh, quick pump, man. We got in Teller about seventy six dollars. And the crazy part before this, I remember Teller from the previous cycle, and it was super cheap. That's why this time I'm like, man, I ain't really playing with Teller this time because I remember last cycle. Teller didn't really do much when I when I, I was in Teller on Coinbase when it was uh, super low, but I did um, get another position in this cycle at seventy six bucks. I'm like, let me let me uh, try Teller out and see what it do. Boy, Teller ran its butt up two hundred, three hundred dollars. Fuck, I'm talking about Teller ran up all day. I couldn't, but I couldn't believe how uh, how Teller ran in that one day. What Teller hit six hundred and fifty bucks, something like that. I think Teller did. I think Teller did a doggone eight x or ten x in one day. That was bananas. But like I say, hey, this cycle is uh, XRP and sheep. Okay, but this cycle is already showing that it's different from the other cycles that's why i'm so uh excited about this cycle this cycle is doing things that uh i didn't see in the previous cycle um uh on the positive side you know we've seen altcoins um 
fly through the roof over the past few months before the Bitcoin happened. So, you know, this um, this cycle is going to do um, big things. I'm uh, pretty excited about what we have in store. Um, that's why I've just been uh, dollar cost averaging in. Even though when I think I got enough money in my account, it's hard just to sit back and not add more money to it right now. And especially when these um, when you start having these dips because you know where these numbers are going to be towards the end of this year. Towards the end of 2024, Bitcoin's $46,000. Where do you think Bitcoin going to be at the end of this year? Where do you think Bitcoin going to be in 2025? Think it's going to be higher than $46,000 or not? If you think it's going to be higher than $46,000, be buying you know because that's what it's all about making your money work for you like I tell my kids hey don't have that money sitting up in the bank because when your money's sitting in the bank you working for your money your money sitting back with its legs crossed smoking a cigarette drinking a glass of wine telling you get up it's 5 at 5 a.m. get your butt up and go make me Nah, sorry about that. I need to be the one telling my money, get your butt up. I need you working around the clock, 24 hours a day. I need my money to work for me. You know, that's the game plan. Like I say, when you know better, you do better. You know, we've been doing research on uh, finance. Ain't nobody watching Cat Williams and Shannon Sharp? <laughs> no. Nah. We, you know, we, man, once we become financially free, we'll have some extra time to do those little extracurricular things. But right now, hey, we grinding. We grinding, you know. This is an opportunity that probably won't be here in the next cycle. Will there be another Bitcoin having? Yes, there will be. But will the gains be as exponential as they are now it's gonna be a different ball game especially with these large institutions involved what they approved 11 applications the government's involved the SEC uh, what the young lady say what do you think about XRP and she said Shiba Inu <sighs> let's discuss um, Shiba Inu first of all we know what meme coins are. Meme coins are um, highly volatile. Um, don't really have, don't have a use case. They're pretty much a popular coin that a lot of the retail um, <clears throat> get into for one reason or another. Um, you know, so typically a meme coin don't last more than one cycle. And um, Dogecoin um, did its thing. Dogecoin been around for years. It had its blowout cycle last cycle. Shiba Inu just started uh, pretty much last cycle. It uh, had a nice blow off top um, last cycle and became successful. Pepe was introduced um, over a year ago. It had a nice little mid-sized pump. And then after that, it seen... Um, to have flatlined just a little bit but understand it's called a meme coin and at any moment a meme coin can go crazy parabolic I remember last cycle man watching Dogecoin and Shiba Inu just do the food especially Dogecoin I remember when Dogecoin got listed <laughs> when Dogecoin got listed on Robin Hood you talk about chaos Man, then Elon Musk sending tweets and hey, Dogecoin was the king. Dogecoin was running, but that's how meme coins do. Meme coins become real popular in the in um their communities become real strong. Uh, you start seeing all kind of memes going around uh, the internet, and folks start talking about it, and you know it starts to run like wildfire. People starts to flood it and. You know, uh, the meme coins are always real low. Point zero 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 
Oh, I got 100 trillion um, doves. I got 100 trillion um, CB new. Sound good, but you got 100 trillion. How much is that worth? $150? But, you know, that's, um, that's how meme coins work. The new meme coin that I'm running with is Bunk. B-O-N-K. It's on the Solana ecosystem. I'm running with Bunk till the wheels fall off. Like I said, I got two portfolios. One of them got, both of them got bunk in it. One of them, I just set it and forget it. When it dipped like it did last week, it, it um, uh, what did it do? It added another zero. It got down super low. Buying in, buying in. I mean, that thing did, it did, um, did 100% um, just this past week. So, you know, that's what meme coins um, have the potential to do. And we already seen that Bunk did the flipping of Pepe coin. I'm ready and waiting for Bunk to flip Doge coin. Let's see what Doge is right now. Doge is number 10. Doge is number 10. Let's see where. Oh, wow. Bunk is number 68. Interesting. Bunk 68. Where the heck is Pepe coin? Oh. Okay. Pepe coin gotta be near there, right? Okay, anyway. Where the hell is Pepe coin? Bunk is number 68. Wait a minute, let me type in Pepe coin. This is not making sense. Anybody out there, y'all know where Pepe coin is? Okay, Pepe is number 104. It's not even in the top 100 no more. No wonder I couldn't find it. Wow, hey, that, took, that, that right there, folks, right here live, just show how strong and powerful Bunk is and how strong and powerful Bunk will be. Just right there, I'm getting ready to lock in. I'm getting ready to lock in my position in Bunk. I'm getting ready to lock in a stronger position in Bunk. The next time Bunk have a dip, I'm playing, I'm playing that meme coin. Cause Bunk have, uh, it already, it, it, no, nobody talking about Pepe no more. It took it out of 100. That's interesting. And another interesting thing that I noticed is that each cycle, there's always a different set of coins in your top 100. I'm looking at some of these coins. I'm like, what? What's this? What's that? But that's how it works. A lot of these new coins will come and push out some of your old favorite coins. I see XLM is still hanging in there at number 27. But like, like the young lady mentioned, what about uh, XRP? The interesting thing about XRP is XRP is still number six. For some reason, I don't know how it's still uh, hanging in there and standing strong. Solana done flipped it. Um, but XRP, I believe at any moment, XRP can do um, 100%. XRP is one of the only coins that have not had a large uh, blow off top. Um, about five, six months ago, they had the uh, case to where um, that they've been fighting with the SEC that was declaring them a, um, whether they was a commodity or whether, um, you know, whatever their state was, they were going to declare them as. And they um, got a favorable de decision on that. And uh, XRP ran up to about 92 cents, almost a dollar. Uh, went up about 100%. But a few days later, it went right back down to where it was. XRP is a tricky one. But we know the banks um, are in touch and in tune with XRP Ripple. Um, so saying that, and also saying yesterday which is today, which is the first day of the spot, or day two, day one, spot Bitcoin ETF approval. 
a lot of the banks are uh, involved in this too and those guys uh, have a nice favorable relationship with XRP so I think XRP um, will recover and do big things uh, I said it'll at least do a 10x hitting towards uh, beating its previous all-time high of three dollars going to five dollars Let's see, market cap right now is 32 billion. So if it did a 5X, we're talking about $1.5 trillion. <clears throat> $1.5 trillion for XRP. Bitcoin. Ooh. So if XRP hit $1.5 trillion, I say I could see Bitcoin at $4 trillion. Uh, maybe maybe three trillion I can see Bitcoin at three trillion dollars so if Bitcoin hit three trillion dollars yeah, between three and four okay easy easy four trillion so if it hit four trillion that'll put it at uh, hundred and seventy thousand dollars for one Bitcoin now that is interesting because I was um, you know, doing very various um, analysis, trying to break down and decipher the different cycles to see what I thought the new all-time high would and could be for Bitcoin. And I think the previous number I came up with was, I think, $169,000. Hmm, interesting. But I know, um, you know, the previous cycle, everybody was calling out $100,000. It never did hit that. But last cycle, folks was looking for a particular number. They're looking for $100,000. Instead of looking at the time, position of the cycle. Have, you know, had, you know, we've had a lot more experience from the cycle before that, from uh, 20, what, 20, um, 2016. 2017 but we didn't have the experience then you know we learned our experience on the fly you know doing last cycle from uh, 2017 or 2018 through 2021 <clears throat> but you know like I say had we been understanding the cycles and position we would have knew man it's time to get up out you know Bitcoin already hit 60 something thousand in July 2021 dip back down boom summertime came back up November double top hit again 69,000 but we was being greedy we was like boom okay here it is right here now it's about to hit $100,000 kept on dipping 50,000 okay it's gonna go back up to 60 $45,000 okay it's gonna go back up to 50 $41,000. I'm talking about, man, we rode that doggone thing. Whew. Talking about, man, your account looking like you're ready to retire to looking like <laughs> you talking about pissed off. Hey, we had a lot of money on paper. But that's why I say when you know better, you do better. You know, that was an expensive lesson that uh, we had to learn you know that was more valuable than any four-year institution and more expensive than any four-year institution but the lucky thing I don't have no debt I didn't have to take out no student loan because I earned all that money on the fly by investing early but I just wasn't wise enough didn't have the knowledge to pull out but it's all good because this time we're going to dominate the doggone crypto market. We're going to time it perfectly. We're going to pull out when we're supposed to, and we're going to be ready. Like I say, everybody who's rocking with your boy Stock Holiday, once it's time to pull out, I'm going to give everybody the green signal. We're going to throw up the white flag. We're going to tap out. We're going to set a date. We're going to go by the beach, fly to some exclusive beach, and we're going to celebrate, meet each other. Give high fives, 
pop a couple of bottles and watch the dolphins swim across the ocean as we live our best life all on the back of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency you know but hey I'm about to get up out of here y'all I want to appreciate and thank y'all for rocking with your boy over the past few months since I started my channel thank y'all for everybody who been rocking your rocking with your boy tonight as I go live on my first live so trying to navigate and figure out um, what I'm doing with these live things Nick have a good night brother Nicholas Curry what do you say how many X's do you think me Ooh, hey I'm gonna go live again tomorrow cuz I got a lot of stuff to talk about that me lady um, doggone coin I got a lot to talk about on that one um, the young lady still had a question about XRP I got a lot to talk about with XRP I think I discussed Shiba Inu a little bit but you know if you guys got any more questions or things that you want me to discuss hit the comments drop whatever question you got and I'll write those down and make sure I address those in my next live when I pop it off tomorrow but your boy about to get up out of here and like I always say man get out there and do it to your service and don't get nervous it's your boy stock holiday and I'm out